Well, here we go. It's um, Thursday, 29th of July, 2021, and I'm out on the bike finally. I picked her up on uh, on Tuesday, and it absolutely chucked it down all day long. So I, uh, I booked the day off so I could try and go out without any success. So uh, I didn't waste it. I managed to fit the uh, the sat nav mount and wire the sat nav in and fit the GoPro uh, connection as well so it wasn't uh, wasn't a lost day and uh, and yesterday was uh, another lousy day uh, and I was back at work yesterday anyway and then uh, Paul said how about a ride out tonight and I uh, I thought that'll do for me and so uh, time is it now it's uh, 6.22 and we're off, uh, I think we're going to Tewkesbury so um, try and get about uh, at least 80 miles on tonight we're on 13 at the moment, I was on 7 when I left the house so uh, yeah first proper ride out on the bike, I fueled her, fueled her up um, Struggling a little bit with the height, as I always do. I'm on tiptoes, but uh, I, have to, I, I manage it. I have to. Uh, it's pretty much the same as my uh, CB1000 used to be, from a height point of view. So I was always on tiptoes on that, and that was heavier. So uh, it's one of them things I can manage. Just need to uh, need to get used to. It's not as heavy and uh, as cumbersome as standing still as the uh, as the Tiger Explorer was. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, just playing with this one. And I've got to keep the revs down, uh, but that's not a problem. Below 5,000 or just I think, I think you can do 5,300 is the uh, is the recommended maximum revs. So uh, that won't be a problem. So uh, yeah, just taking it easy, keep the revs down on it, and. Uh, Let's see what it's like, have a bit of fun with it. So, uh, if you're interested, stick around and I'll update as the evening goes by. So, starting to get a bit of a feel for it now. Keep forgetting I've got the quick shift, that's like I'm using the clutch to change gear. Uh, I'll say I'm uh, now beginning to sort of feel for it's uh, the way it operates and uh, I forgot how much fun it is to have an MT-09 uh, so I traded my MT-09 in for the Tiger Explorer and I did love that bike but I was looking for the touring bike and then I uh, think now I'm going to have the best of both worlds with this so I've got the uh, utilitary, utilitism, utilitarianism of the uh, Explorer but lighter and the fun of the MT-09 so <coughs> this would be great fun and the engine noise is bloody brilliant and you put it into 6th gear you just, the induction just whoosh straight in and uh, had a great engine note I love the triple sound so uh, I, I think I'm going to love this bike Over there whenever you need it as well. I'm sat in sixth gear, four and a half thousand or just under four and a half thousand revs. I would uh, not need to do any downshifting, just roll it on and off as you need it really. He's uh, full taunting something out to me there, I don't know what. Now listen to the induction here. You hear that? Fantastic when he goes into sixth gear and does that. So, a bit of nervousness on my part because the tyres of uh, 24 miles. Um, I need to scrub them in. I know it's dry, 
but uh, you, you, you know you, you never want to give it too much for the first few miles on uh, on a pair of brand new tyres. So just remember, I got this quick shifter really. Cut no green. And there you go, we've got to get the shift shifter again. And the induction there, it's, it's bloody great. It's going to be so much fun when I've run it in and I can uh, give you the beans a little bit. Comfort wise, pretty good. Uh, not the most comfortable bike I've sat on, but seems fine to me. Um, yeah, booked a, uh, a little break to Scotland, southwest Scotland, uh, from the 25th or 26th of August, from the Sunday to the Monday with Kevell, Paul, and Bry. Uh, so that's going to be uh, that's going to be brilliant. And uh, one of the, with having the new bike, one of the things I wanted to really do. And we we've been talking about going away, and now we're uh, we're going to properly make that happen. So, uh, in order to do that, I've got the uh, first service already booked for the uh, 19th of August. So I've got to get the uh, the miles on, the requisite 600-ish miles on, in order to uh, get it ready for its first service. And then up to Scotland for the. Uh, we've been there twice before, I think. Twice or three times. I think it might be. I think it might be three times. This might be the fourth. And uh, Kevell and Paul haven't been there yet. And uh, I love it. Bry loves it. Paul loves it. So uh, hopefully it's going to be uh, a treat for them. And uh, I think it's going to be great doing it on this. So, this, so that'll be the real test of. Uh, well, this bike is a sports tourer, but I don't think I'm going to have the slightest problem at all. Um, I took the panniers off, no need for them when I'm just tooting around like this. The two uh, side panniers, I've ordered a, uh, a top box and uh, that's just waiting for the base plate to arrive and that'll get fitted on the first service probably. And then uh, we're all good to go. So, uh, yeah, um, decision to drop down from three bikes to to one probably last year and the majority of this year really just not been getting the chance to use the ones I've got I was just taking the space in my garage and uh, I think this one is gonna give me the best of both worlds it's gonna be the fun of a of a bike to hoon around with on a Sunday morning with the uh, capability of doing uh, tours on so I think it's uh, this will give me the best of both worlds on the, in that regard so uh, yeah so yeah so I'm running out of uh, superlatives to describe it really I'm really pleased with it I'm really pleased with it I just need to uh, get some muscle memory with that with changing gear and stuff like that and uh, it should all be good Um, suspension wise this has uh, semi-active suspension you've still got a preload you've set the preload yourself but then it adjusts based on sort of road conditions really so uh, that's 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 uh, an interesting feature and comfort wise and suspension I've I've lowered the uh, preload down uh, quite a bit just to try if I can uh, aid with the uh, Maybe weight pushing it down a bit to help with your height with the feet on the ground and that. And uh, that made a lot of difference, but hey ho. And there's the induction again. Absolutely fantastic. Love the note of this engine. 
and with the standard can as well sounds bloody great ugly as anything but it's tucked away really so it's not really that noticeable it's not like some great big massive uh, cans that you see on a lot of bikes they've uh, they have tucked it away quite nicely but uh, yeah it's an ugly brood mirror wise a rear view not as brilliant as the Tiger Explorer but that had wider bars and uh, it was probably a bit higher on the handlebars than this one but no complaints I, I can see good enough I see well enough what I need to behind me so I'm uh, not complaining about that top gear and so I gotta keep keep below the 5,000 revs but uh, you know I'm up to nearly 70 and I'm still under 5,000 just need to get past him there we go job done 70 at 5,000 revs in six gear oh, that's gonna that's pretty bit comfortable it's a bloody lovely evening after the couple of days of lousy weather we've had a great weather last week that was a couple of days, uh, yesterday and Tuesday, and uh, the day has picked up uh, really nicely again. Sunday's looking positive, so uh, if it all holds out, I want to be out again on Sunday. Get a few more miles on it. Video-wise, this will probably be the next video to go up, and then I've got a bit of a backlog, really, in terms of... Uh, all the ones that I, uh, well the few that I recorded last year that I've, uh, I've got some in edit got some already uploaded but I haven't uh, made them public yet because I've got a few bits and pieces to do with them and I'll try and get that done and then uh, over the coming months especially with the, with the tour coming up the uh, Little Scotland tour I want to try and get the uh, the videos up to date and then uh, keep them going then Very flickable. Yeah, I completely lost my mojo, especially as this year started to, to go the same way as last year. I just uh, I lost me. Uh, mojo for doing this and uh, I think it's I think it's well and truly back now just hope that uh, normality remains and we don't have to put up with any more of this crap in it again uh, that's uh, the first time I've been out on the boys with Paul for oh god probably 18 months getting on for two years And then I went to Manchester with him to uh, when he took his two bikes to try the BMW the he's got now. So I was up there with him for that. And uh, so this is the first ride out of that since he, since he picked up that bike. So it's uh, nice to get back out. Uh, please, Mojo's back is good and proper now as well. Induction on sixth gear, amazing. Yeah, I really, uh, 
really did forget how much fun the MT-09 was. Uh, it's all round experience. Um, this is in mode 2. I dare say I'll put it in mode 1 shortly. And have a bit of fun with mode 1. Throttle not as snatchy as the uh, as my previous MT-09, so they obviously clearly have uh, sorted that out a bit. The throttle was uh, lethal on that. Still quite um, very responsive throttle, but not to the extent that it was on the uh, on the 2015 MT-09 I had. Hard to believe that's six years ago now that I uh, I was picking that one up brand new and I traded me uh, my Honda CB1000 in for it. Amazing how time flies. It's great, absolutely great. Yeah, I've been had when I decided to buy it, I'd uh, already sort of um, secured it, and then I started watching the YouTube videos, and uh, everybody got so many good things to say about it, and uh, yeah, it's living up to. Uh, to, uh, what people have been saying, so I'm uh, fantastic really. But, uh, it's got to have been about four years or maybe more since I was last out on an evening as well. something I'd uh, always said I was going to do. I'll try and get Sarah out on a couple of evenings. She's got her MOT tomorrow. And uh, try and get her out on a couple of evening ride outs. We had a cracking ride up into the Shropshire Hills a few weeks back. Really enjoyable. Mega pleased with this one, mega pleased. So I've been plugging the uh, plugging the roots into the Garmin uh, the Garmin Zoom. Well, I have been plugging in the Garmin Zoom. I'm telling lies. I've been working them out on Garmin Basecamp and uh, pretty much got them all done. And uh, just got to transfer them to the Zoomo. Uh, that's all there. Uh, I'll be good to go then. Screens, a lot of people sort of complain about screens on bikes and uh, I don't really notice the screen because I, the first time I had a bike with a screen on was the uh, was the Tiger Explorer. I saw it before that I'd never had sort of had little tiny screens on the uh, on the uh, CB1000 on the MT-09. I'd never really bothered about it, and to me, because I'd never really had one. I've never thought about seeing the benefit of them, but I have got it. I'm finding myself relaxing into it a little bit more now. A bit nervous with it first, as you always are, I suppose, with the with the new bike. Now I'm beginning to relax into it. Only negative for me is I'm on tiptoes, but that's not the bike's fault, that's my fault for being a bloody short arse. miles Little shake of the old pants
so we're coming into Tewkesbury now. Fifty four miles. Right. 55 miles so it's 48 isn't it? 48 from my house. Yeah. Well, that was it. A little ride to, to, to uh, Ch I can't speak, Tewkesbury, and now we're already uh, back the way we came home. So uh, I'm going to say put a nice hundred miles on it by the time we get home. Five hundred more miles I need then for uh, to get it to service, which won't be a problem. Uh, that's been great.
over there. So, yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this bike. It's, uh, it's lived up to everything I'd hoped for and more. It's just great. Really, really great. I think I uh, made the right move. I uh, opt in for this one. Nothing can go wrong with Yamahas.
going to wrap the video up for now. <coughs> I'm uh, probably be out again Sunday. Uh -huh. So uh, hopefully I'll have another video coming off the back of that. And uh, as we get ready, get match fit for the trip to Scotland in uh, just over four weeks time I think. So uh, if you've stopped with it, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Take care.